Yeah, I didn't like driving a car in the city. It just didn't make me happy. Um, and I felt bad every time I would get in the car. I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm, you know, I'm burning fossil fuels and contributing to this climate change. And it just wasn't a happy place for me. And um, I said, well, what am I going to do? I don't want to get a car. How am I going to get around? So I started looking at getting two kids onto one bike. And I found out about the long bike. So Kais was, at the time, he was four and Raji was seven. And um, I think the first time we tried it out, we were a little bit apprehensive, you know, how is this going to work? So then um, I got on and my mom, she told me not to wiggle at all by any chance. Like after a couple times riding the bike, I got used to it and it became fun and more fun and more fun. So we would, every morning, ride the six blocks to Raji's school, New Traditions, it's right up the street, drop him off, and then Kais and I um, ride all the way into the Presidium. We would go up Arguello. And the first three days, we had to walk because I couldn't do it. And then it was the fourth or fifth day, I, I said, okay, I've got my gears in the right place, I've got my momentum, let's see if I can do this. And Kais is in the back, yeah, mom, you can do it, you can do it, cheering me on, and I made it up to the top, it was so awesome. I like that when she goes down hill, hills, it feels fun. You go super fast. And then every day I had to leave right at five to be able to ride back down to the Presidio, grab Kais, climb back up out of the Presidio, this time with Kais on the back, all 45, 50 pounds of him, and out to get Raji. And it, it took us, it took me the whole hour. So it was great. I was in the best shape of my life. We would sing together. And uh, Kais and I had quite a bit of time to talk. And I found that it was much easier to hold a conversation with him while we were on the bike than in a car. Mostly I get positive responses. But then there's um, people who see me out on a bike with kids and they kind of, they're worried, they're scared for me, which I get, I totally get it. So I just kind of was like, all right, thanks for your advice. You know, doing my thing. And I ride very, very defensively. First of all, I'm going a lot slower. So that automatically keeps me safer. Um, I definitely don't ride on busier streets as much as I could possibly help it. And I do feel my mortality out on the road, you know? But that's one of the things I love about riding because um, I'm, it's so physical, but you're, it's also mental also where you're constantly aware of your surroundings and kind of taps into maybe that hunter that's living somewhere in the back of our brain still, you know, kind of look on the lookout for that car that might get you. <laughs> but yeah, the, the sense of freedom that we have, I wouldn't trade for anything. Dad, this buddy is so big. With the face kicked in, the face, the biggest all broken. Quick to the point, to the point, no faking. You can have shoes like a pound of bacon, burn them. And quick up nimble. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy with here.